all the farm in the world. The other thing about it is that you can just use the shrine. Like, it's not that punishing for Raji to do that because Chancellor Shafi won't need it in the first three minutes. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Or rather, five minutes, that is. Um, just, it's not a huge issue. Fame asks right, on down the, near run the here. bottom lane. <laughs> that dazzle was a little bit deep. Uh, perhaps unnecessarily, although the battle hunger runs out, Vila will still find the first blood with one more SWAT of the Ruby Staff. Axe is going to take a Stormhammer stun, but Lakels just doesn't have the damage to clip him down. In fact, Vila going to turn aggressively here, wants to take this stack, and should be able to do so. Mid lane. He's got himself a Berserker's Call. He's going to grab it onto two. Mid lane, there is a kill. There is going to be a return kill down bottom as Storm's able to re- or Span is able to reinitiate with a Stormhammer after eating a mango. So this is oh, down bottom, Lakels. He's spinning to win, but Raji's able to land another crush. They got the battle hunger. There's a TP coming down from the Sand King. If he can actually get a burrow strike off in time, maybe able to hold them back. In fact, Lakels is able to live from this. Eats himself up a mango to put down a healing ward. Now wrap around from the mid lane. We are going to have a rotation through. You got Dazzle. Coming forward, another Burrow Strike to hold people in place. Raji's actually in trouble, taking a Poison Touch. Axe doing what he can to keep the Sand King at bay. Another Crush coming forward, but Lakels, with his Healing Ward, is able to find the kill shortly before Raji's able to TP out. Very nicely played, and now that's going to tie up the kill score. I really like the way Trust are playing this Sven. They're letting him be very, very greedy as far as support Svens go. Down bottom, Velo looking for a quick dunk. Wants to get down Lakels. Oh man, that last spin's able to get the kill. Axe, not gonna lose his life here. The poison touch gonna expire just in time. Velo definitely playing with fire there. He puts it's kind of an interesting way to play it. Oh. Not too often we see it. Going straight in. They want to get NT down. He has the burrow strike, but there's a Slardar there to catch him out. If he does go for it, look at that bait. They got him. Dead Sand King, and they're looking for a dead Sven as well. The body blocks are there. Psyonix trying to get the Scoochie damage on him. Another crush to hold him in place. Raji's eating tower shots, but it doesn't matter. One more hit means a double kill for Psyonix, and Raji just squiggles out fine. That was a sick play by him. Considering he's a yeah, going at this. She's taking it fine. Her refraction's still down for 10 more seconds. She's got a meld. Is there any vision going in? The shrine going to be activated. They've got Teehee channeling up the Eld. He's got his max souls. Oh my god. She just evaporated. And they were nice and low, so we can actually do something about a couple of them, but they'll leave the rest. Eld's coming in. Going to be some juicy farm for him. He's actually looking for the chase. He's got himself an Omni Slash, but got to be very, very careful about this. Yeah. Able to deward this, at least keep the ancients safe for now. But this is Geek's fam starting to pick up. Uh, a lot of momentum looking very similar to how last game was panning out. Omni Slash going to be only level one, split between two targets, so they're not able to find the kill on the Shadow Fiend. Although he is locked down from the Storm Hammer slowed as well. But I mean, Tiki, he's not messing around. Eventually, he does go down. Psionics gets low as well, but still worthwhile kill nonetheless. Psionics is going to be revealed here, able to scoochie off that Storm Hammer. Bottom. Hilo wants to be scary. He wants to cut the wave. He's going to get jumped on here, eating up a ton of damage, and it looks like his buddy's just going to bail on him, realizing that is too ambitious of a gank. Yeah, they're doing a nice job of just bringing all their heroes on the Radiant. And Helm, he's going in towards his Dragon Lance here, so he's making sure he's got those stats. Down on the bottom lane, Lakels doesn't have his Omni Slash here. He's going to get punished without his ult. He's crushed up. He's going to be graved. Now he's just cleaved, or rather... Culled right on through. Swap back to cancel the TP. And there we go. Dazzle is going to be finished off as well. Peak fam starting to really pull ahead in terms of kill lead. Up in the top lane, Psyonix, who's had free farm. Like, maxing Stormhammer doesn't really do that much anyway. 225 damage. Eh. Um, you usually get a lot of the cleave in terms oh, of Oh, here we go. They'll find something here. It's going to cost them a Sand King ult. Psyonix is able to time walk out of... Oh, my God. They can't kill this Weaver. They're trying everything. They're going to be able to reinitiate on him this time, but Psyonix is still going to be scoochied up. They actually commit the grave onto NT as Raji moves forward. He's going to eat a Storm Hammer, and there's going to be a TP in from Lakels, who has his Omni Slash. He's unloading it onto Raji, and one more hit means they do bring down the Slardar. Thankfully, though, the Weaver able to get back across the river. 
There's a push for it, Sven. A little bit unlucky there, gets called in. They've got Raji to follow up with a crush, so he just can't run away. He's gonna take a quick storm hammer to the face, but they've still got the damage necessary. Crush actually really off the mark. Tihi picks it up with one more raise, though he's channeling up his ulti. Sand King has to burrow strike away. Pretty difficult to find this kill. Meanwhile, wrap around here onto the Sven. I mean, it's just to Not support again. Sven. He's getting picked on so much, but he is just so dead. There's no Requiem, so the chase could Bionics be profitable. In a little bit of trouble here. He's going to get swapped back. He's able to time lapse. Venge gives her life for this, but it's going to set up for a nice crush on Raji. Lakels is able to find the kill on Crimson. Eventually, is going to be able to get Shallow Graved up, but they've got Velo who can dunk right on through it. Now, underneath the shrine Run. on the high ground, it's looking risky. Nice reinitiation there with Sin. Again, looks like they're just kind of outclassing. Uh, things again. Perhaps uh, at least pause and more possible this time uh, for Perhaps trust. They're thinking but. about the smoke gang still. Even after the Aegis has been claimed, Axe can be going forward. Swap again. Crimson saving the day. Has her own missile if necessary. And Tiki, he's still got his ult to let loose. PP going to get those refraction charges burned. Well, on the back lines, the Shallow Grave can only save our uh, Juggernaut for so long. Hold he's going to go down. Psyonix is having a great game. The blade mail from the Axe shown off. He's able to find exactly what he needs. The Axe is still alive. Oh my god, it's a bloody massacre. Four for absolutely nothing. An NT, so practical. He's just gonna sit back and try to burrow strike his way out. But again, they've got the bug to wrap around on the other side. He's gonna blink across the oh, map, nice. but will get crushed up before his TP can take offense. So that's uh, easy. Yeah, uh, he knew his only chance was a burrow blink, but top lane Up they top lost found PP. PP. Oh, look at that. The ax is so low, but goes in for the call dunk anyway. I wonder how that can click it. Why? Oh. All right, there we go. Axe is going to be going in, gets a double man call. He's got blade mail rocking as well. There is a shallow grave coming in, but Axe can cut right through that. TA goes to work onto the Weaver, but he's easily able to time lapse off. The dunk is going to be <laughs> missed from the Axe, but the neutral centaur stun secures the kill on the Sand King. Everyone's buying back, but it looks like this could be the last hold coming out from Trust as they are easily focused down. Nice ult from the Sand King, but they're getting all the picks that they need. Everyone getting evaporated. Dazzle, the lone survivor, just crawling back to the fountain while typing GG. Well played, Geek Fam. Yeah, very much so. Totally outclassed them in these two games. I'm sure uh, Geek Fam will be looking at these thinking, yeah, you know what, we had some salt. Mr. Cat, uh, well, we're going to kick it to elimination mode pretty soon, huh? Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's uh, not too far away from our ability draft kickoff, so that'll be, what, one hour from now-ish? Yeah. About, yeah. Yep, so. We're already setting up in the studio, so stick around. It's be on this channel right here, so you can just kind of zone out, keep it up. When it starts making noise again, you'll know we're back, but <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the games. All right, goodbye, guys.